Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another NTW3 custom battle for you today and today we have a glorious 4v4 here on the map of Montreal uh, and we have four French armies facing off against a coalition of enemies here from places far far away from France like places like Persia, Russia, just to name a few. The Middle East and Europe have come together to defeat France once and for all. And oh my, it should be an exciting one, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know which Russia it is. I think it might be the 1814 uh, variant is here, along with Persia. I don't think Persia has a variant. I think there is just the one Persia. We have also got the Anglo-Portuguese army here. Can't see them yet, but you can see their general. And uh, I think it might be another Russian army by the looks of it. Yeah, we've got, uh, by the looks of it, two Russias. And uh, yeah, then Franco, uh, well, so Anglo-Portuguese, I was about to say Franco-Portuguese, that would be a strange mix. And then also the Persians here as well. It looks like already the French are going in trying to take out some Russian Dragoons. Looks like the uh, Russian Dragoons have been routed by French ones, but they took down a couple of units as they went. Chasseur Cheval and also those French Dragoons. The Russians again sitting in more cavalry here. Looks like some Hussars going in. Looks like they've managed to route those Chasseur Cheval as well. Very nicely done there we have 1799 it's by the italian campaign there uh in coming to play another 1799 italy all the way over here as well i don't think they're the same armies they are very much different ones uh, who else do we have here 1811 france and then we also have uh 1814 france all the way over here with the young guard and all the other guards in place this is this exciting to see how they do the very much a variety in french armies that is for sure young guards chasseur cheval we don't often see them that's for sure didn't realize there was a young guy, Chasseur Cheval, I guess. Um, but they are in play. And we've got uh, Maison here, which I'm pretty sure actually he was in the defense of uh, Paris. And one of the, uh, the battles of Paris have done quite recently, which is a glorious, glorious battle. That's for sure. If you haven't checked that out, I definitely recommend you do so. There are plenty of these guys at the battlefield. Lots of young guard. And it looks like there's going to be plenty of them again today. The young guard spam is unreal. Yeah, look at this. So many young guard in play. It's insane. And all of a sudden... As literally as I'm speaking, like a thunderstorm is just starting here. So we'll see how far we get through and if we're disturbed by uh, any thunder and lightning. That'll be exciting. You know, while it's a, a glorious looking day here on this battlefield, it's definitely not looking glorious outside. That is for sure. But yes, Young Guard is getting underway here. More Chasseur Cheval. I didn't realize they could have had so many. And they also have the uh, Chevalier Gear Lancers, the Red Lancers. Very, very cool unit. But yes, if you're a fan of NTW3 and all things Napoleonic, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show you support. It really does help out the channel as we work towards 9k subs. And yeah, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on a single single NTW3 battle, then make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. I do do often plenty of NTW3 battles, and also there is a weekly stream as well. Uh, usually that's on a Monday. And uh, yeah, we often do historical scenarios or some custom battles or something like that. Uh, recently, it's been a lot of historical battles, uh, and there is like with all these new maps and uh, and factions we have, we've had a lot of new ideas that we can uh, we can kind of bring into play. Yeah, we've got the uh, chasseurs appeared here, getting ready, set up. So yeah, we literally have like one of the o oldest, I guess you could say, uh, French army, 1799, along with one of the newest, 1814. Not quite. You could, I guess you could well like more modern ones. I guess I should say not the new. It is uh, technically the newest one as well but it's one of the more modern ones so i've been interested to see like a difference in like kit and equipment probably isn't much change the musket certainly won't have changed certainly the style of uniform has though look at these guys in all their glorious like sort of uh, uniforms and ribbons and everything they got going on there you see the gold on the officer's hat it looks glorious a better time you know well actually i guess 1814 it was not looking great for france at that point either. It's not looking great now with the sheer amount of Dragoons that are descending on 1814. Certainly if I was the uh, the coalition, I would be thinking about cutting off this uh, this French army. It's very much isolated from the other sort of like French armies. Could certainly cut it off from support, but maybe the French are seeing this as an opportunity as well to get in behind the coalition. Cause all sorts of problems there as well. I certainly also would think for France, Persia would be seen as a bit of a weak Weak link. Um, they have got some like out and out infantry, like these guys here, and they're actually like proper line infantry. But a lot of their troops are going to be a bit more, you know, like this, a bit more irregular, um, not really proper line infantry. Their cav is kind of where they have their strength. 
we'll see how they do. This artillery looks pretty professional, though. They, you know, they look the artillery crew look like they uh, they know what they're doing. They're well dressed. Let's get a volley from these guys here. But they're Shah. There you go, that's been set off. Yeah, more of those line infantry there. I guess they probably brought those because they're squareables. They can probably, you know, defend the flanks a bit more effectively. Uh, haven't seen too much in the way of Persian Cav yet. It could be just being hidden in the back. Yeah, there is just the one I can see there. I imagine their generals are fairly... Usually he's a fairly large um, general's bodyguard. That often is the case with these uh, like Eastern factions like the Ottomans and Persia. They have, like, large general bodyguards compared to their European counterparts, and they're pretty good at melee. Another pretty cool badass unit here. I'm pretty sure this is one of their more elite infantry units as well. In bright green, it won't be missed, that's for sure, on the battlefield. Russia is setting up here. He's got his infantry and his gun set up. And another volley going in there. Bombarding 1799 in front of him. Yeah, those uh, the 78E there taking an absolute pound in they are. What is back here? We've got Chasseurs. We've got uh, just carry Battalier, Hussars. Yeah, a lot of stuff like that. I imagine 1811 is Spain is probably going to have a lot of sort of like allied infantry, a lot of like, well, these are like cheap infantry here that can't form square, like provisional stuff. Yeah, you've got Nassau infantry back here, allied infantry. Some Spanish stuff as well. Looks like, yeah, he's just spamming out like a lot of these, uh, yeah, allied infantry. We've got Irish here. And it's definitely one of their play one of the uh, sort of one of the moves they can do. That I, I think this faction's well eight. The eight pointer has a lot of dragoons. I think that are fairly well, uh, like priced. I could be wrong, but I thought that was the case. It doesn't look like he's brought too many. Russia over here seems like he's got a lot. I mean, this is the eighteen fourteen Russia. You can tell this is the white flags they have going on here. They can bring a lot for their money uh, at the moment for this current uh, sort of like patch. It's insane. I don't know whether they'll change that, but this. Uh, this army, I think, is worth less points. If you don't know what in 2 3 you see the 8 next to the France. It's an 8-point France army. Uh, the higher the point, the better it is. But yeah, this uh, I think this is a 9-pointer, this Russia. I could, uh, it's, uh, it's Actually, yeah, it's probably better to bring than the 10-pointer in its current state. Whether they'll just change them round, I don't know whether the Great Patriotic War will just become the 9, and then this will become the 10-pointer. I don't know. Would seem a bit silly too, since Russia's main sort of uh, like campaign is defending Russia itself. But here we go, in the Russians go, and they're going to take out that cocoon pretty easily, I imagine. They've got a rear charge there onto the French. No, no, actually, morale-wise, they look like they did okay out of that. It's a small French cav unit, so I wonder if it's pretty elite. They are now slamming into the side of the infantry here. Didn't get a great charge, and the infantry seems like they're unfazed. And the cavalry, I think, now is going to counter charge. And yeah, this seems a bit of an awkward charge. And here we go, heavy cap going in from the uh, from the Russians. These cuirassiers will probably do a serious amount of damage. None of these guys can form square. French cab on the flank has been broken along with the uh, Voltigeurs there. And here we go, yeah. Cuirassiers slicing and dicing. And the heavy cab here should do a lot of damage. And it also allows, if they wanted to, allows the uh, Russian infantry to come forward. It looks like we're going to see the Irish infantry go in for a bayonet charge. And they're doing their best there. And in comes, looks like more Russian dragoons coming in, trying to again route these uh, French French infantry as they uh, commit out of square. I mean, I don't think they can form square anyway. But yeah, very early, high intensity fight to start off the battle. Yeah, these Legion de Estrangers. Actually, I don't know if they are the Irish stuff. I, I think these are just like Spanish loyalists, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, it looks like the Russian cab did get out of there. They routed a couple of French infantry, but it looks like the French actually came out of there. Not too bad. Lost a lot of cab, though, in this uh, in this fight. Uh, Les Americains? Are they Americans fighting for the French? Is that what it is? Les Americains? I don't know. Might be. That's 1799 that came over to support. And yeah, those, those two infantry units, they were routed. And Russia getting, stealing a good march on the French here, getting a very, very good start uh, to this battle. Got some grenadiers here for the uh, for the French. They're going to need those, that's for sure, uh, later on. But they might need just more than that to try and break through, because the Russians, probably in melee-wise, can match them. Uh, looks like over on this side, kind of like, I mean, looks like France is pushing back the Russians at the moment. Uh, also looks like Persia and France dueling quite nicely over here. France actually is getting a good charge off on these guys. Yeah, the grenadiers are the line. Doing a lot of work here. 
actually managing to route the regular infantry. And look, I think this is the general. I think that is. But he's getting chased down by Hussars here. And yeah, it looks like Persia did not go for a uh, heavy cav build. Very, very strange. And yeah, this is actually meaning that the cavalry here from the France has superiority and is descending on the uh, Persians here. Getting rid of that artillery. My gosh, there's absolute rout on this side here from Persia. Well, France on Persia. And yeah, these uh, Grenadiers need to make sure they're winded at the moment, but they may make sure they don't get too overcommitted. They are going down this line here and just, my gosh, they're doing a lot of work. They've got a, uh, a square forming up here. I imagine the French might just execute them. They might just uh, fire on them at point blank range. We'll see. No. They're actually going to charge into the Persians. Probably the best idea. They actually might be able to beat those guys in melee. Who knows? Or maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, look at this. This is looking serious for Persia. Persia actually looks like he could get mass routed here. But yeah, I picked this off the uh, the uh, NTW3 Discord. It's the one that was sent in there. I felt like we'd do a random person battle. To see how it goes. It was apparently a very nice one. Someone was saying very close. So I'm kind of excited to see how this one does go down. But if you do want to send any more of your own NTW3 replays in, feel free to send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description. As the British have now arrived and are getting in, stuck in on the fight. But yeah, look at this. 1811 France is basically gone. What has happened here? This is insane. The Russians, I knew they'd already like basically caused a march on them. A few squares for them here, but it's not like it's saving them from the cavalry. Yeah, they did a really good job here. I mean, this is very, very interesting now. Because obviously, 1811 France has basically been wiped off the field. But it looks like Persia is going to have the same... Uh, treatment to himself so both sides are going to lose an entire army here uh, near the Russians also are in danger of having their flank turned here they might need to start thinking about uh, turning their their attention towards this French incursion as they are very healthy Persia got some guys down here with uh, the swords out that is kind of like a typical thing they don't, they don't like to use a bayonet in Persia use their sword their cold steel like the bayonets doing them a, a better job here for France because they are slaughtering these Persians. Russia is turning the face. I wonder whether that will, uh, whether the Persians routing will also affect their morale. I'm not sure, but Cavalry charging in here, Cavalry Battalion, which is a heavy cav unit, smashing into the infantry here of Russia. And again, I think the Persian general is trying to get out of there. I don't know what he's got left to sort of save himself from. His army's gone, so uh, he might as well die with his army. Again, the regular infantry here try to hold up, but they just can't stop these Frenchies. They're just so much better in melee than them. And here we go. I think he actually is going to go for charge. The Persian general did go in. I think he's trying to get Masena here, and he might get him, you know. Take down a general, but he will lose his own general here with Persia, probably. In come the Hussars, trying to slice and dice him. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Masena might just have got out of there alive. May have just been lucky there. What a lucky, lucky man. Yeah, that was very unlucky for the Persians. I thought they had him. And now this Russian army, you see, that's the problem. Then now, because the Persians are gone, I'm just going to get flanked on hard here. And the uh, rest of this, this other 1799 army needs to start pushing. and needs to try and, if it can, help. Well, actually, to be this fair, Britain is really, really far up. Britain's in danger of getting flanked himself. If, like, this Russian force here it's not get be uh, gets beaten back, they could be in some serious danger here. I think maybe they're both. Uh, 1814 rushes actually now I look at it. Maybe, I'm not sure. There's certainly a lot of guards here. Uh, usually typical of the 1814 Russia. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it looks like we've just seen an entire rotation. 1814, uh, like France has just kind of got rid of some of these Russians over here. I don't know how, like, where the two armies are for the Russians. There seem to be elements everywhere. It certainly makes micro a bit harder, but yeah, 1811 right now is in a whole low pain. Still got some Dragoons alive. Can I get a good charge off here? Nope. He pulled out of it at the last moment. They didn't even form square. Maybe he's concerned about the cab behind? Probably. We're going to see a melee fight here, but... How long that lasts is the gear. Look like they're going to get absolutely blasted here. Jeez. Again, looks like light infantry here. Looks like they're going to take out the, uh, the light infantry. The France. Dragoons here, they need to just maybe, I mean, they've got some healthy Dragoons left, either keep them alive just for the future, or try and take some stuff out. I mean, that's not a bad kill there, taking out a Russian light infantry. Looks like they're not going to have much in the way of resistance to that. 
But yeah, this is not looking good here at all. I mean, we've got 1814 now moving over his guard de honor. Moving over the Red Lancers. What we also got here, the uh, Colonel General, which is 1814. Some good Dragoons. Oh, decent Dragoons. I don't know how real... You can never judge the Dragoons how good they are, apart from the Imperial ones. Yeah, look at the map. It's absolute chaos. The red is the uh, the French. The blue is the Coalition, which just confuses it, really. You know, with the French typically being in, uh, in, in blue. But yeah, the center is almost gone, really. Actually, uh, Britain is forcing back the French very effectively. I think they went for a bayonet charge and have died doing so. And yeah, it looks like this 1799. France is going to just pull back a bit. Wait for his ally to appear. I mean, they've got a whole... Well, not a whole Russian army, but a good portion of one, it seems. Pinned down in this forest here. as the French player. Don't know what he's going to go for um, next. I mean, he looks like he's going to maybe shift back around to sort of assist the, the Brits. Get on the same side so he can support his teammates. Probably not a bad idea, to be honest. We've got British Cav going in here as well. Looks like they're going to send in... Looks like they're some SARS, maybe KGL ones. I'm not really sure. The carry Vitale there, they should beat those uh, Hussars. Heavy cav against, well, lights. Even if the uh, Hussars are very, very good. Well, I don't know, maybe either side might be right here, to be honest. I'd expect the carry Vitale to win it, and neither side will both actually rounded in the end. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, here we go, look at this. Uh, 1814 France now arriving on this side of the battlefield, forcing back this Russian player. I don't think he fancies his options here. I mean, it doesn't seem like this 1814 France actually fought a full army yet. He's just fought elements. So his army's pretty healthy. His cab's obviously really good as well and healthy. He's brought some of the guard stuff, but it's... Well, I don't know if the guard de honor are actually guard cab, but it might be. Uh, he has got the red lancers somewhere, though, that definitely are definitely are guard. Oh, they've been kept way in reserve. Way in reserve with Maison. And he's still got more infantry all the way over here as well, just shifting on round. We've got some of the... Uh, oh, no, this is all 1840. My gosh, the young guard are everywhere right now. I hope this uh, French player can micro all this, because uh, it's going to be difficult, that's for sure. These young guard are possibly in a little bit of danger here. God, Russians coming towards them. They look like just generic mu uh, Russian musketeers. But here we go, charge coming in. The British Cavs, and it looks like Light Dragoons going in for the French guns. Can the charge... 1799 France has allowed it to happen. The guns are going to get routed there, that's for sure. Our men are running, sir. That was unfortunate. Those Hussars really should have protected the guns. They could have got a charge off, saved them. Maybe he thought he could get a volley off, kill the uh, Light Dragoons first. I don't know. He's actually going to pull out of that combat. I don't know where he's going now. Maybe for the next cannon. But Hussar should not allow him out of there. He should route the Brits. We'll see. Yeah. Looks like 1799, the one that like absolutely smashed Persia, has now got back to his own lines. He probably has to face down a multiple like multiple armies here, Britain and Russia. But he has got also the uh, young guard in his ba in the back lines that could help him. Russia trying to stop stop the young guard here. Looks like they couldn't form square. The 13th e years here. Doesn't look like the Russians are going to hang around, though. They didn't fancy uh, staying around for a prolonged melee fight, which, to be honest, they probably... Yep, there you go. They actually did route them. Looks like another young guard was routed there, the 12th E. Like, like I said, I don't know if this micro is up to it. Like, he's got a lot of like uh, young guard, which is great. And he's probably thinking, oh, I could be everywhere and anywhere. But his army could just get taken out piece by piece. Like, his army stretched a long, long line here. Like, he needs to be careful. Because it could just get taken out piece by piece. He hasn't got any reserves, so if like a unit gets broken through, it could cause a lot of problems there. Like his cab is right is really his reserves. Like his left over here is just being decimated. The young guard, though they are guard, are not actually that great in melee compared to their old guard variants. Probably will be beaten by these Russians. They keep storming in. Uh, they are rear charging their own Russians, though, I think, as well, which always helps the French. That might actually... Eh, no, there you go. The Russians did just about win. They, I thought maybe for a moment one of those Russians breaking might have caused a bit of a mass route for both, but it didn't in the end just about. We've got Cavalry now coming forward. The uh, Chasseurs of the Guard. I think they're maybe just going to try and route these final couple of units. In they go. You be careful they don't get shot up here. Now our guard here, these are Russian guards as well. They didn't form square. 
Maybe again they felt confident they could route this uh, young guard, she said. They might still, you never know. Nope, they were in fact routed with the uh, the guard of Russia there, but I think the cab might get routed here by a volley. There's also more cab on their way up from Russia. Oh, she says got out of there alive. Nice. Yeah, I don't know where this Russian player. I think here is just going to uh, rejoin with his British and fellow Russian allies. If 1799 could maybe advance forward, just kind of keep the pressure on the uh, Brits and the Russians here, it could make it almost an encirclement, as you can see. The red being for the French, they are on both sides. They could like just sandwich the coalition right now. We'll see what happens. Looks like France had in some of those Les Americains to try and take out, I don't know, the British guns, which are very much well protected by squares. And light dragoons look like they helped scare off those chasseurs. Bit of a waste, really. The half hearted assault. Here we go, all these guards for the Russians waiting patiently in the back here. They're gonna carry on marching forward now, dueling with those young guards. It's guard versus guard here. And the Russians, I think, have the better ground. That tree line defense, the French just in the open here. I don't know, but the French might have better shooting stats, I don't know. Trillios are pretty damn good at their job. Shooting and tooting. They're going to struggle to take this building though, there's, which there are Russians in there. I can see, yeah, smoke coming from these, this building. There's Russians in there waiting. I'm sure it'll be a Grenadier, you know, something with high melee stats. It will not be easy to take, probably as a guard. And the Trillios are not built to take it. These uh, Trillios and Voltigares, yeah, they're not, they're not designed for that job. Russia also still has this heavy cav alive. It's one of the few heavy cav I've seen in the game. I guess cavalry battalion sort of counts. I don't know if they're at the same sort of level as these Russian cuirassiers are, though. And Russia seems to still have a lot of cav in reserve here. I wonder if this young guard player is starting to think maybe I should have uh, spread my army out so thin and should just come for one absolute hammer blow into one of the sides of the Russians. Like right now, he could have his whole army sort of over here and he could hammer blow something. And just try and wipe it out. I mean, Brennan's still here as well. Now it looks like he's trying to maybe turn and face the young guard, the 1814 player, who's still, I mean, we'll say 1811, still got elements, but not much. Charges here from the uh, from the Russians. They know, I guess, the young guard can't all form square. Some of them are cannon, some of them are. And the young guard here breaks it. This one could have formed square as well. It didn't. Huge loss. So okay, this one didn't form square. Oh my gosh, these are huge losses here for the French. Gotta save your squareables. Here comes the Red Lancers trying to save the situation. And then comes a whole mix of Russian cabs. We've got Hussars, we've got Dragoons. Surprised you haven't seen... Oh, they are here. I was going to say, surprised you haven't seen the heavy cab. It is here. All this cab, though, is making very nice targets, I think, for artillery. Oh, I can't see if it's Russian or French artillery. I can't see any young guard artillery. And look at that. Yeah, the Red Lancers are routed. Oh, there is the French artillery. It's right at the front lines, actually. How did it not kill like a lot more of that, uh, that cavalry? I do not know. But it is now retreating. They might. Well, they have actually countercharged. Looks like the uh, Dragoons got in here. They might just kill off this uh, artillery in time. And yeah, young guard here, I think one of their problems is getting, they've been overstretched here. And they're getting wiped out piece by piece by the Russians. Like, they're just attacking over here. They're not interested in this other part of the, uh, like the French army. And because of that, they're, uh, yeah, like I said, they're just getting taken out bit by bit. They are also still over here as well, 1814 and 1811. Not in great strength, though. It's mainly because it's 1811, I think. As you can see, the young guard's now running back. He's, like, really stretched out his units as well, which... For... In 80, uh, sorry, in, uh, I thought in uh, Edge of the Column's the way. Column is the way. It helps for morale, that's for sure. Playing almost like vanilla. Definitely don't want to be doing that. He needs to get his troops out of here. It's also quicker for movement. Yes, certainly now 1799 and the rest of like this uh, 1811. And the remains of the 1814 over on this side need to start pushing hard, start pushing on Britain. 
Try to break through. Britain's not great in melee. He can use his cavalry to screen Forbes Square here. Now bring forward the infantry. Needs to get these guys He's doing exactly that. These chasseurs here. They start to come forward. The cav may be sacrificed. But it should all be for uh, a price. It should be straight in. Yeah, the Royal Irish looks like they're going to go in. Excellent. Get into melee with the British. Break one or two. And then you're uh, going to make have a mass route. Absolutely. Trying to get out of the square. Russia is kind of counter, counter charging though. Trying to flank the, the French. They just need to get point blank range. Absorb one like British volley and then charge in. Now these Royal Irish here have got these Brits in melee. How are they not winning? Uh, I guess they maybe, you know, maybe the Brits fight more invigorated. Like a more invigorated to fight the Irish than they are the French. The true enemy, the Irish. Grenadiers, the line going in. This will be a better charge though. 1799 here. Managing to avoid any sort of volleys. And that should be a better charge going in there. Looks like he's got another line for unit in. And Britain is starting to come into more and more stress when it comes to uh, the melee fights. All he's got to do is blitz Russia and point blind range with his uh, musket volleys. Certainly the chasseurs here, they'll do a good job. Good accuracy, good uh, reloading. Managing to route that British unit, excellent. Might affect the other ones around them, we'll see. Also, you kind of want to take this opportunity while Britain's not in squares to start charging in cav. Because that's the problem with Britain, is everything can form square. Britain's responding with these bayonet charges against the Grenadiers by sitting in his cav. L light Dragoon's going in. Looks like they've actually failed to sort of route them, but they might get some of these. Leaders. Coming out of the forest, they might get some of these uh, line infantry. Yeah, France has got to take advantage of the chaos now. Try and get as many of these British units as possible. Set up his cav to support. Um, he has got some carry battalion back here. Still alive since the king. Also, I've seen 1814 has cav as well. Still alive, but yeah, this is looking chaotic right now. Britain's kind of mass routing, that is for sure. Don't think it's just a general yet. Oh, the Hussars right into the back lines. Here we go. General four Britain could be lost here in this charge. Could be out of the forest. These Hussars are going to slice and dice. The commander routing, that's for sure. They might get this Dragoon as well. And it's looking messy, that's for sure. Very, very messy. We can get some rear charge or something onto the Russians here as well, that'd be great. Britain's still fighting in the forest, here. yeah he is. This 1799 player certainly knows what he's doing. He's managed to uh, get into melee, then get the, well get the cabin, force him into square, then get into melee with the uh, the Russians and the British here. He's done a very good job. Russia looks like he's having a little less success against makes sense they've got pretty good melee stats as well but Britain he's done a good job and just absolutely routing them there's a bit of a flank coming on here now including artillery and infantry trying to flank the uh, the British uh, the French there young guard coming forward again these are the guard de honor going in and they should route this uh, little Persian unit but after that they've got to then kind of charge down these Russians the guard is kind of like shifted all over here now they're trying to chase down what remains of the Russians on this side of the river. More and more Russians have been being sent back this way. I think because of just the routing of the British. But quite easy, the French could route themselves. I mean, a lot of their troops are made up of, well, some of their troops are made up of these 1811 army, which has been long gone, really. Never recovered. Still got some good grenadiers, though. The 1799 and the guard have to do most of the work here. Like, well, that's a Russian uh, Russian general actually getting charged by uh, by infantry. Surprise they allowed that to be caught out. And there we go, general dead. Oh, is this one? Wow, he actually died in like the first charge. That is unfortunate. France over here losing quite a decent amount of troops. Grenadiers, the, long, uh, the Legion of Lombard included. Looks like Britain's uh, little flank here has worked. It's rather a couple of French units there, sort of halted his right flank at Salt. 
I think, yeah, in the forest as well, the British have been successful. They've been stood in square, firing volleys. And they forced the French back out of the forest. Some of these troops might return, but they just won't be the same once they return. Once you're rounded once, you're just not quite the same. But yeah, you can see the old, uh, sorry, the old guard, the young guard still sneaking in behind. Still got some he healthy-ish units back here. Not big units, but like, you know, 80-man units are still like relatively healthy. The, uh, the cuirassiers as well still alive, and I think they're actually going to just get jumped in the- Oh no, they're not cuirassiers, these are the hussars. I don't know if the cuirassiers are still alive then, maybe. This is the only cab I can see from Russia. Unless it's like in this forest hidden, but... Yeah, the cuirassiers might actually be dealt with, but there you go, that's uh, Those hussars are jumped by the uh, French hussars. And now I think France has cavalry uh, domination. And whether we'll see uh, a comeback, I don't know. France... It's done a very good job. They started off with a rough, rough start with uh, 1811 basically being wiped off the face of the earth. And the young guard also faced some pretty bad, uh, like, assaults from the Russians. The Persian being lost and Britain also being wiped away by that. By almost seemed like a single cavalry charge. Did an excellent job. The chasseurs there. Setting up, and now it's kind of just turning into a bit of a firing squad for the, uh, for the French air. They're in a bit of a crescent formation, you can see on the map. In a bit of a crescent formation, and just fire on these Russians. Well, there is cavalry left uh, for France, I think that is. Yeah, they've got they got the British general. I think he re-rallied, and they managed to take him out. So nicely done, and they might get that British unit there as well. Maybe it's just too small to form square. I don't know. And there you go. Yep, taken out. Britain looks like he's all but uh, gone, really. There we go, General dead. I think that is the uh, the British one dead. And now we have French cab. We have the, uh, it looks like the uh, Colonel La Colonel General here. 1814, he's coming in. He's dealing with those Russians. At least the ones that can't form square. I think these guards are trying to do exactly that. Could have changed, though, you know, when uh, Messina over here nearly got routed by the... Uh, Persian general right at the uh, like death of the Persian army. The Persian general just charged on in, tried to get uh, himself a general kill. That could have changed the whole game because that would have basically made eight, uh, 1799 France almost useless. Well, not useless, but almost. The morale would have been very much shaken up. Young guard now going into melee, seeing an opportunity, I guess. Seeing mass rounding, uh, well. Multiple units of Russians routing, probably seeing an opportunity to just try and route the rest. The Guard de Honor also going in. And this general still alive. I think he's the last, uh, the last general still alive. The Persian one, I don't know if he died if he just routed. The young Guard here fighting on. Even now, they think melee's worth an off, worth a go. I mean, I think they're okay if you get like multiple units charge on the flanks with them. And then, like in situations like this, they're also going to be fine. The Russians are on breaking point. Some Laguerre going in for 1811, still alive. They did get blown away, but they're still like providing some help, charging in where needed, getting their revenge on those Russians that basically steamrolled them. Doing a very good job. The Russians are still in a few of these buildings over here, so they've got to take these buildings out uh, before they can uh, before they can say it's a job done for the French. They hold actually a couple of buildings over here. One over on this side, yeah, like two buildings. And they still got the odd unit here and there. I don't know if they're really going to be able to put up a resistance, but uh, there you go. I'm going to just fast forward now as we just wait for uh, the end results uh, because I don't think it's going to change now. France hasn't got much left, granted, but. Uh, it's certainly uh, more than enough to deal with these last remaining Russians, that is for sure, as well. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's already yeah, one building taken. I think the uh, the Russians have just lost that one over here. Yep, so the French are now just evacuating quickly, looks like. Probably Young Guard being sent in to take these. Uh, we'll see. But who else is over here? Oh, we've got, uh, we've got Mason. He's actually already <laughs> going forward looking to see what is left in there. I think it might be a general, actually. Uh, looking at that there's uh, dismounted horses around it. I think maybe a general inside for the Russians, maybe? I think only a couple of generals have been sniped. Um, I think the... Well, I thought one of the Russian ones and uh, one of the British ones was killed. So, 
Um, actually, maybe there isn't a general inside. I don't know. But we'll just keep fast forwarding while we wait. But yeah, I uh, I really enjoyed this one. It was certainly a fun one. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it shows that. Well, why you bring a uh, why you bring cab? Because it can absolutely steamroll armies, and it seems like the Russians as well. Certainly, that eighteen fourteen Russia is really strong. I mean, they just routed eighteen eleven just really really quickly. I mean, Persia, a faction that really relies on cab, really should have brought more. Um, I thought they were going to go not maybe cav all, like all cav, but like cav heavy for sure. And uh, yeah, it just seemed like that that, that was going to be the easiest option. Oh my gosh, flying around now. Um, but yeah, it seems like that would have been their best choice, their best option. But it didn't seem like that was what uh, they wanted to try. They wanted a little bit of a, an infantry uh, strategy, which I guess could have worked, but uh, needed a bit more support from uh, Russia maybe when it came to cavalry because one Hussar almost for the French just went down the line and just wiped them out. Uh, it looks like we're going to see an assault now from the infantry. It looks like 1799 is just getting ready. He's just maybe letting his troops rest up a bit before going in. While this has been going on, that thunderstorm has been well underway. I don't know if you can really hear it, but there's like thunder and lightning. I've got like some of the heaviest rain I've ever seen. It's like monsoon weather out here. It's insane. But yeah, as you can see, there goes the 92nd line infantry. That probably will be enough. I don't think, uh, well, I don't know. It looks like it's just a regular Russian infantry unit. I don't think it should be uh, too hard. Maybe need a second unit to come up and just... Prepare in case the French don't take it. I don't know. Another building taken there. Oh, that's one way, way back there. Okay. The men are fatigued. Oh, that's not even the last one, I don't think. They still hold another building after that, which the French have also stormed. Don't know what's in this one. Again, looks like just more generic Russian infantry. I feel like if these Russians were on the front line, they might have been able to change the battle, but maybe not. Maybe they re-rallied after... Uh, it looks like, the there we go, up. yeah, there's a building taken. I think those uh, Voltigares helping to just, you know, focus them down, weaken the uh, morale. Uh, Russians did manage to hold on to this one for now, but actually I think they just routed as they as they left. Maybe artillery hitting them. And what is left over here? Just a Russian infantry unit there. But yeah, I'll just cut anyway. Just I feel like a couple of units could keep retreating here, just returning. So I'll just make a cut, and I'll see you guys at the end results. So here we go, we are at the end results. It didn't take too long until those Russian units did get finally get routed. But yes, so hopefully I put up the end results. Uh, this was sent in by Argens, who was uh, playing as, I believe, one of the 1799 armies. So uh, well done to him and all of his teammates. It was, certainly was a fun one. I enjoyed watching it. It's nice to see some different players as well in action and seeing like different tactics being played. And it certainly was a fun one. We'll have a look quickly at the unit stats. Um, he kills here. I mean, yeah, Julian Mamer, one of the Hussars. I think he was responsible for killing half of the Persian army. 218 kills. Very nice there. Cavalry Vitalia, 161, showing the quality of the cav in today's battle. Um, like the line infantry here, 148 kills. But yeah, there are the rest of the kills. If you want to have a look at those, some very impressive kills for some of those infantry and cavalry, that's for sure. So yeah, well done to uh, Argen, to everyone that took part in this one. A nice victory for France, that is for sure. And yes, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. If you're enjoying NTW3 and want to see more of it on the channel, make sure, like I said, to hit that sub button, hit the notification bell, and join the Discord as well if you want to get involved in any games. Until then, bye for now.